In this video, we're going to learn the hanger method for solving equations. So for vocabulary, I'd like us to write down two things. First, that an equation is when something is balanced or equal on both sides, and a variable is a letter that's used in place of an unknown number. Now, before we move on, I want you to look at the picture that I've picked for this one. And I want you to think what you notice, what's going on here? What's the difference between those two hangers? Do you notice that one of the hangers looks balanced and the other one doesn't? For the red socks, those socks must weigh the same amount, so it's perfectly balanced. For the blue socks, something must have happened where one of those socks weighs more than the other. Maybe it has some marbles down in the bottom of the toe or something. We don't know. All we know is that the blue one is not balanced and the red one is. When we use the hanger method, we always want to keep things balanced. So our goal is going to be to keep it balanced. So when we use the hanger method to solve equations, we start by drawing a very basic hanger and then I'm going to model my equation on it. So I'm going to put things in boxes. And for this one, I'm going to keep it really basic. I'm just going to say that this box has X and this box has four. Now this hanger is balanced, which means that this unknown quantity X, we don't know what it is, must be the same as four. Let's try a slightly trickier one. This time I have two X's on one side of my hanger and a six on the other. Now, since I used the same letter, that means that they must be the same amount. That means that if I want to represent this, I can say that this represents two X equals six. That's the way I'm going to show that there's two X's. And if we think about it, if they're the same letter and combined they equal, or if they're the same value, the same number, and combined they equal six, then each one must equal three, right? Because two times three gives me six, and there's two of them there. So this right here that we just drew was our very first basic example of an equation something where it's equal on both sides. Okay, another example. This time on one side of the hanger we have a seven and on the other side we have both a Y and a five. So let's write an equation for this. We would write seven equals Y and then plus five because it's the Y combined with the five that balances out the seven. Now I used a different variable here. It doesn't always have to be X, right? I can use whatever variable I want. And X doesn't always equal three. We could see how in our last couple examples, in one of them X equaled four, and another one X equals three. Who knows what Y is gonna equal? We're gonna have to figure it out. Try and think for a minute, see if you can figure out what Y must be in order for this to balance. Do you think that y is probably 2? I agree. I think so too. It makes sense because 2 plus 5 would give me 7. So that works. All right, next I'm going to give you two that I want you to pause and try and then watch and see if you agree with my answers. All right, go ahead and pause the video and try and write an equation and find the solution for both of these models. Do it now. For the first one, did you write 4w equals 32? And did you then decide that w must equal 8 because 4 8s added together would give you 32 or 4 times 8 equals 32? For the second one, hopefully you wrote that x 
plus 12 equals 23. And did you decide that x must equal 11? Because 11 plus 12 equals 23. And over here, 4 times 8 equals 32. So those work. All right, for your practice problem, I want you to both write an equation and find the solution to your equation for this hanger method model, where I have the number 63 on one side balanced out by three y's on the other. Figure out what each y is worth.